Um, we believe we have a real proposition here that's very exciting. As I've mentioned, we think uh, there's an opportunity here for a lot of uh, sedan drivers to come in and, and, and choose a vehicle like this as, a, as a, perhaps their first uh, premium SUV. Um, a lot of value in the story, standard leather, the sunroofs I touched on earlier, 18-inch alloy wheels and a premium audio system. And you know, one of the benchmark measures of, of how well this is, this car, any car is going to be, is how its residual value makes it, it works out. And, and you know, it's been said before, and I believe strongly that perhaps the best indicator of the health of any brand is how good its residual values are. And we have here a 55% out of the box residual, uh, which is you know very good for for a 36 month uh, residual on any product. Uh, we're very pleased with that. Um, no disrespect to our cousins at <coughs> BMW because they're a very strong brand and it's a great product. But the, their X3 right now is around 49 or 50 percent to give you that sort of benchmark. So, so we're very pleased with how um, ALG has reacted to, to how strong this vehicle is. The proof will be in the pudding in three years' time, to be fair. Uh, but we're very encouraged by that early start. Uh, the overall price of the vehicle will be uh, start at 34700 When I say start, as I mentioned earlier, it's very well equipped. I'll touch on that in just a second. And we start uh, officially launching the vehicle uh, in April, around April 2nd. Um, but uh, the cars will be showing up at dealerships in mid-March. And obviously, if somebody wants to buy one ahead of time, including any journalists hungry for a, you know, a new vehicle, we could probably sell you one in March just because you're so special. So here's the value story. There's the 34.7 that I told you earlier. On a showroom equipped basis, typically including the climate, uh, cold climate package, uh, te technology and lighting packages. Overall, you know, maybe just below 40,000 typically <coughs> equipped. And a showroom equipped BMW X3 is around 42,000. So, so roughly speaking, about a $2,000 like for like uh, a difference between the vehicles. And we all know, you know that, that there's a lot that goes into the BMW brand. I don't want to have that discussion right now. But clearly, we feel that, that here's a vehicle that's extremely well equipped, very competitive. And if you are in the leasing business because of the residual advantage, you know, we have an, a, an incremental value story to sell there if any of you write for, for leasing markets around the country. Okay. Now, I don't have the commercials to show you at this stage. You'll be pleased to hear. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just, just want to give, just give you a flavor of where we're going. The whole thing, the whole thinking behind this is breaking new ground with LR2. Uh, and you can see here some shots of some vehicles hanging around on some stuff that looks like lava rock. And indeed, it is lava rock. Next slide. So where, where are we going to go with the TV? This is just a mock-up, a rendering, clearly. It's not, not the real vehicle. But we're, we've actually been shooting the car in Hawaii. We've been shooting it um, around the Kilauea volcano. And for those of you who've been and seen that, it's an amazing experience. And new land is being produced you know, every minute of every day as the lava rock you know, tumbles over the cliff into the sea. And so we've been out there in that area. And we basically, the whole theme is wherever there's new land, there's a new land river. Uh, and that's basically the creative idea of this to resonate to show that this vehicle it goes all over the world and can live in, in many climates, many terrains, and has the capability to both on and off road. Next. Um, also, and here it is again uh, in similar situation, you know, we have the beautiful terrain response feature. And many people will say, well, if you just leave it in this mode here, it'll do everything that he wanted to do anyway. And it will. Um, here's our communication thinking behind this, not just for this car, but the others as well. Despite the probability that you won't, it's designed for the possibility that you will. And whether you're buying a beautiful watch which has a lot of capability that you'll never use, here is a beautiful car that if you do need to use it, not just going to the mall at the weekends, but if you do happen to be stuck in a, God forbid, a New Orleans situation, there's one vehicle that you want to be in, or even out there on, on the East Coast right now with a horrific depth of snow. One vehicle you want to be in is going to be a Land Rover. So that's really our, our, our attempt to communicate and say, well, you may not need it, but just in case you do, it's pretty special. Next. Who's clicking? That's the last slide. That's the last slide. There is another slide. I'm going to pass it back to Dennis. Thank you for your time.